What's up guys, I'm back and here we go. Dang it. Already we're starting with this crap. Hardly did anything. Oh, what is this thing trying to have its mind of its own? Alright. Here we go, game four, the champion game. The rubber chicken piece is the champion. I didn't do it yesterday because of other stuff going on. But I'm finally going to do it now, so here we go. So this is it, champion game. And we know how the rules of this works. I don't roll the number die, I move it up one spot on each. The buzz cards are still active, but considering that there's no buzz card symbol, there's actually a rule I wanted to talk about that I would have done in the other three games. That on the my play thing, whenever they have like two questions, they would um have the all play one. And I was good. Think of a rule if I get the second question right, I get to do a buzz card, which I'll implement into this game. So, here we go, time to begin. And we're starting with an all play. I keep doing that. I'm not even hitting the damn chair and it keeps doing that. I, I don't get it. Actually, hold on a second. I only moved it there to put it back in a good place to straighten this thing out. Alright, first I'll play of the game. Alright, it's a child's play. Alright, let's see what we got. That's... Hmm. Oh, it was Blades of Glory. Hmm. Sorry, guys. There's like a bunch of stuff going on. It's probably going to keep going back and forth just to keep cooking the food. And I need to ask you viewers a legitimate question. In your videos, how the fuck are you able to deal with so much background noise in your videos? I mean, like, some stuff like the AC in the background, I don't mind that. Because it, you hear that in half the videos I do. Like, when there's so much people doing stuff, it just becomes a problem. So I don't know how the hell you other people, you other YouTubers can deal with this. trivia card. Will Forte plays a bumbling action hero in what 2010 SNL comedy? Mech Rubber. I've never heard of that one. And it went to that little thing because I was sitting there for a while waiting for like a chance to keep it going. Another trivia card. When 1999 movie finds women paying for the attentions of Rob Schneider. Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo. Heard of that film. Second all play of the game. Alright. Alright, here we go. Second all play of the game. Come on. Alright, all play number two. Now it's a recipe for comedy. Alright. Wait, have we had this one before? Yeah, we had this one before. Ah, I forgot what it was, though. Um, It was... Oh, I was singing in the rain. That's what it was. We had that one before. I remember that one. That exact puzzle come up before those answers or the clues leading up to it 
Another all play, third one now. So three all plays, no my plays yet. Not even a my puzzle. And it's a space setting. Distorted reality. We didn't have this in game three. All right, it's named the actress. Yeah, we didn't have this category in game three. Oh yeah, Sigourney Weaver's um, Gwen and Galaxy Quest. I know that one, because I've seen that film before. Yep, got that one right. I mean, we did get the space setting in game three for like one of the my puzzles, which was the drawing conclusions. But for the actual all plays, when we got the space setting, we got the sound clips. Like, here's how it went. In game one, there was no sound clips, but there were distorted realities. We did get some of both in game two. We got sound clips in game three, but no distorted realities. Here, we do have a distorted reality. We just had one. Let's see if we can get a sound clips. And then it'd be just like game two. The odd numbered games having only one of them. Game one having only distorted realities in that setting, and game three having only sound clips. Game two having both. And let's see if we, if we do get at least one sound clips, both of them will appear in this game. Alright, so that was our third all play of the game. Oh, now we got a my play, first one. So three all plays, now our first my play of the game. So let's see what clip we're gonna get. Yeah, I do have this turned all the way up. Harry, Hello. We've had this here? clip. I, uh, I just wanted to give you this. I don't mean here, here. I mean, why are you on this I realize island? You... What is this? Now, I realize you, you'll have had to tighten it's your belt that Mama Mia over movie. the years, bringing up Sophie on your own. And I just wanted to make a, a small contribution to the wedding. So at least the name, the movie name stuck with me. I can't, uh... So if it's named the movie, no, I'll get I it. Can't. No, no. Harry, no, I can't... No, Harry. No, I'll have to catch you first. Yep, they did give me a name the movie. It's the Mamma Mia movie, so that one stuck with me. The name did. Okay, now we're gonna implement that rule. If I get the second question right, then we'll draw a buzz card. Alright, let's see what our other question is. This movie's based on the music of what? Disco Supergroup. Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, ABBA. Heard about them, but... That's why all the music stuff I look at, I don't completely look at disco stuff, so... Although I've heard of ABBA before. So we're doing an all play. So fourth one of the game. Next time we land on the question mark, it's a my play. All right, so fourth all play of the game. Oh, it's, oh, it's another child's play. Which was the first one we got of the game. Um. Crap, what is this? Hairspray. Oh. Oh, man. I mean, I've heard of the thing before. I haven't... I don't believe we had that answer before, either. And I haven't really seen the thing before, so... Trivia card. Name the sports flick in which Sidney Dean tells his rival Bill Hoyle, you either smoke or you get smoked, and you got smoked. White men can't jump. Really? Why is there a film named that? Like, it doesn't make sense. What? Because people can't. Well, that can't do that. Basketball, I've seen people do it. 
seen them do it before. Another trivia chord. Jimmy Fallon's character in Fever Pitch is obsessed with what baseball team? Boston Red Sox. Question mark. Now we're doing a my play. So four all plays and two my plays now. Next time we land on the question mark, it's a my puzzle. So what's our next clip going to be? I don't think we've had this clip. Ready? Let me go first. No, we haven't had this one before. All right. <laughs> They're gonna punch harder. One of them, watch. One of them's gonna get knocked out. <laughs> or get hit hard. Out the pain. Remember what that douchebag drill bit taught us? Mine over pain. You told him to hit you in the chest. All right, we get to go how hard the other guy hits. Right. Ten being the hardest. How hard do you want? Five. In the back. Oh. I don't know what movie this is. Come on. Now you give me name the movie on one that I don't know. Drill Bit Taylor. Hmm, haven't heard of that one. Alright, now if I can get the second question, then we can draw a buzz card. And of course, I'm not going to get that. Who plays Drill Bit Taylor? First, you give me the question and then the movie. I don't know what it is. Now you're going to ask me who plays him. Owen Wilson. Oh. Now, I know who Owen Wilson is, but I didn't know that was him because I haven't seen this film before. Now, hold on a second. Alright, stay there, phone. Don't fall down. Alright, let's we'll see what we get next. Oh, we actually got the mic puzzle. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. I had to eat dinner. And anyways, I already rolled the dice, already moved it, landed on a my puzzle. So let's do it. I rolled the category die, I already moved the piece up. It landed on my puzzle, so let's do it. And remembering the count, four all plays, two my plays. Alright. Alright, let's see what we got. Come on, why doesn't it do anything? Oh, it's the sequentials. Okay. So I gotta pick the movies. Um, I believe uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days was first. Ah, dang it. Oh crap, I picked the one that was released last. Daisy Confused 93, Ed TV 99, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days 2003. And I picked the one that was released last of the three. I mean, sequentials can be tricky at times. Alright, next. Trivia card. In old school, what is the colorful name of the old guy who died while wrestling two topless women in a pool of lubricant? Blue. Oh yeah, the, um... I've heard about that film before, old school, like Will Ferrell's in it. I've heard it has like funny moments. And, um. Because basically, my dad told me about that movie before. He He's watched it before. And, um. He told me about the film. It's very funny. I want to watch it. Like. Like, I believe it came out back in 2003. That's when it came out. But, yeah, there's plenty of funny moments in it. There's, like, the guy who drops the cinder block. I've seen clips of that film of old school, but I haven't watched the film entirely. But I do want to watch the entire film. 
All right, next. Another trivia card. Sean Penn earned an Oscar nomination for his portrayal of Emmett Ray in what Woody Allen mock biography, Sweet and Low Down. I don't know why the plate noises keeps happening like that. Even off camera it's done that. Like, I put it back, it's in a good spot, yet still some, somehow all the, it moves over there. Another trivia card. We went through all three of the card categories within like little turns. I know I haven't done the hardy har hard ones, but I just don't know. I named the actor who appears in Walk Hard Dewey Cox Story, Mean Girls, and the Ladies Man. It's Tim Meadows. Yeah. Next. Another My Puzzle. Alright. So we're still at four all plays and two my plays. Come on. Alright, what's our next one? Oh, it's a um misquotes. Alright, let's see, what do we have? Um I believe, girl. Ah, dang it. Ah, uh, it's from Notting Hill. Ah, uh, it was supposed to be boy. Dude. I was supposed to change it from dude to boy. Ah, uh, dang it. I haven't seen Notting Hill before, so... Another my puzzle. We landed on it again. Jesus. We landed on yet another one. What's it gonna be this time? What's missing? Alright. So I gotta find what's missing from the picture. Um, the carriage. What? Oh, right, right. Oh, of course, Back to the Future. Of course, it had to be the DeLorean. I didn't know that was from Back to the Future Part 3. The only one I've mainly seen clips from is the first film. I haven't seen that many clips of the second film, and I haven't seen many clips of the third movie. So, of course, it was the car. It was the DeLorean. Fucking tricking me like that. Tricking me like that, that's bullshit. Just do that to me. And after actually not getting mad during the last gameplay, now I'm already starting to do it here. And it's not even because of Final Cut. We're not even that close to it yet. Alright, trivia card. Name Vern Troyer's character in Austin Powers The Spy of Shaggy. Mini Me. Oh, it's the Mini Me. Yeah. Since Mike Myers is on um, Dr. Evil. Well, one of the characters he plays in Austin Powers. Next. Question mark. Another My Puzzle. Since that was next in the order. Next time we land on the question mark, it's a trivia card. So it's yet another My Puzzle. Like, what happened to the all plays and my plays all of a sudden? We're getting my puzzles now. We're still at four all plays and two my plays. Alright, what do you have for me next? Oh, it's back to sequentials. What do you have for me this time? Um, I believe it was... Okay, old school was 2003. I believe it was Revenge of the Nerds. Ah. It was the order as it was. Already. Animal House, Revenge of the Nerds, and old school. Animal House 78, Revenge of the Nerds 84, old school 2003. And you saw it at the beginning, right before I got to pick an option. You saw it the same exact order, right? Like, you saw that. Like, you saw that there. They were already in the same order. They didn't change at all. 
they were already listed in the same exact order. The li they were already listed in correct order. So I knew, I knew Old School was the last one released of those, but I didn't know Animal House came before Revenge of the Nerds. Next. Another all play, finally. Fifth all play of the game. Alright. What's all play number five going to be? Oh, it's going to be Visual Puzzlers. Alright. Um... Wait, is it? Ah, oh, it was School of Rock. Oh, I see all those different genres. Like, I see the hard rock, the punk rock, prog rock. The genres. I already mentioned how I like... How the progressive genres, one of my favorite genres in rock and metal. Progressive rock and progressive metal are two of my favorite genres. Alright. Five all plays and three my plays now. So what's our next clip gonna be? And so this one again. Theodore Donald care about us in accordance with what we think. Your dying wishes might well have been. We commit your final mortal remains to the bosom of the Pacific Ocean, which you love so well. Good night, sweet prince. Name the movie, The Big Lebowski. Seen clips of it. I remember talking about that one clip of the dream sequence with um Jeff Bridges where he's um where that song's playing and then he's like imagining stuff. I haven't seen that entire sequence, what it looks like, that dream sequence. But before we hit the next one. If you remember back in when I did the first scene it um movie edition back in 2015, when I had a lot of that going on. I'm pretty sure that clip came up as one of the my plays. I'm pretty sure that came up, that dream sequence, like, I believe it was like one of the early videos of this channel or one of the, because I've had this second channel since 2015. So actually, no, I think it was around the end of the time of the first channel because then of course I forgot the stuff to that one. I've had this current one since. So for over three years now. But I believe that clip came up. All right, let's see what our other question is. By what body of water does the scene take place? Pacific Ocean. I tried to guess like a lake last time. I know it's the Pacific Ocean now because that stuck with me. Pacific Ocean, yep. So we get to draw a buzz card since I got the other one right. So our buzz card says, I want my two dollars. Keep this card face up in front of you for the rest of the game. Oh, it says whenever you answer a trivia card correctly, move ahead two spaces. Well, I'd be doing that effect if I had other people playing with me. So. Alright. Now we got another My Puzzle. So another one of these. Oh, now it's a, um, strike a match. Okay, so I gotta match the movie with the actress who played the title character. 
Um, crap, I haven't seen any of these. Um, Renee Zellweger, I believe, was in this one. Ah, dang it. Wait. I don't see what... Oh. Wait. Were they already in the correct order? Like, all the films listed there? Or are they not going to tell me, like, the exact order? I had to, like, get all the way through it. Strange. Come on. I, I need to hear the thing. All right. Now we got another trivia card. Name the movie in which someone recites the poem, Roses are red, violets are blue, I'm a schizophrenic and so am I. What about Bob? I've heard of that film before. That's an odd little poem though, about being schizophrenic. Alright, now we got another all play, 6-1 in the game. Alright, what's all play number 6 gonna be? So 6 all plays, 3 my plays. Oh! Oh, it's another distorted reality. And now it's named the actress, so now it's a male actor instead of a female actress. Um. Crap. Wait, is that? Oh, it's Tom Hanks. Oh, that was Tom Hanks. Sleepless in Seattle. I was about to say Tom Hanks, too. I was about to say that. I was about to say Tom Hanks right when it came up. Like. So anyways, that's him in Sleepless in Seattle. So again, we got the space setting, but no sound clips. Two distorted realities. All right, trivia card. Billy Bob Thornton is no Chris Kringle in What Not For Kids 2003 holiday hit, Bad Santa. Ooh. Yeah, not for kids. We're definitely gonna have some adult content. But at least I'm in the range to watch it. Since I'm 20. Actually, I'm about to be 21 in... Wait, today's the 19th. Yeah, 8 days. Yep, viewers, my birthday's coming up again. I got 8 days to wait. Today's the 19th of August. 8 days, 27th. I turn 21. Through. Yep. I mean, I'd already mentioned that for, like, one of the last few gameplays, but there is, again, getting closer and closer. Tomorrow, it's going to mark exactly a week until the birthday. Alright, another trivia card. Spinal Tap is touring to promote what album during the events of this is Spinal Tap? Smell the Glove. Oh. I haven't even... Okay, I've heard about the film, but I haven't seen, like, the actual, like, stuff about Spinal Tap. Although, I've heard it's, like, some supposed to be parodying them, but... Anyways... Another trivia card. What are Will Ferrell's sons' names in Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby? Walker and Texas Ranger. Really? They based it off of Walker, Texas Ranger. Alright, question mark. Now we're doing a trivia card. Next time we land on it, it's a buzz card. Alright, he got the card in hand. Just give me a trivia card category, any of them. There we go. Teen Angel Frankie Avalon sings what song to Frenchie in the musical comedy Grease? Beauty School Dropout. Proto Grease, haven't watched it. Another My Puzzle. So we're still at six all plays and three My Plays. And we get yet another My Puzzle. We've had plenty of these in this game. In game four. It's another Miss Quotes. Alright. What do you got for me this time? Um. Uh, I believe Listen Up 